Hey, good afternoon. All right, so today is Friday, February 9th, and it's been a very interesting morning. Um, Andrew and I have, since I've been back, we've been actually waking up at five in the morning um, and doing our gratitudes in the morning, some affirmations, and then uh, we go, f we like brush our teeth, um, floss and brush, coconut pull, and then we go for an hour walk. And it's been really, 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 really nice. I really enjoy that. I really love it. And it's been really great because it's also giving us a chance to connect with each other um, more intimately and just talk to each other and just be with each other. So that's been really, really, really nice. But today, after our walk, we got a little bit uh, of a slow start today because I actually didn't have to go to work today. Um, I actually did not work today. Like, I usually actually work on Fridays, but. Um, um, it was actually, I usually work on Fridays, but it was, my work was canceled today, so I didn't go, and so we had a little bit more time, because Andrew actually works later on Fridays than he usually does for the other days of the week, and, um, anyway, so we went for our walk, and we came back, and I started getting Andrew's lunch ready, because that's what I do, like, we, we go for our walk, and then we come back, get ready, um, I get myself ready, I get, well, basically, I get my food ready, and Andrew's food ready, he kind of just makes sure the house is warm, like he'll start the fire, um, and he's doing this course right now, so um, he has like some things that he has to take care of, um, so he's just teaching himself, doing personal development while I'm just getting us ready, and um, so anyway, today though, <laughs> I totally, totally, totally fell asleep, um, and I woke up like, 20 minutes before we had to leave that I had to take it to um, work. Um, I woke up 20 minutes before we had to, before it was time to leave. Um, so we had about 20 minutes before um, it was time to get in the car and go. So I woke up and I was like, oh no, I had to go get the car started. So I went and Angie was like, could you, cause he was in the middle of doing something. So I went to go get the car started and then um, then we left. So I, <laughs> I took a little nap today in between our morning activities, which was really nice. Yesterday was a big day for me. Um, I kind of did a lot of things. Like I, I worked in the morning, and then I went to a, a birthday party, which was really sweet. And then um, I did some house chores, like washing our dishes. And then I had some conversations with family. And it was just like a really long day for me. Um, and I definitely didn't eat that much yesterday, which is, it's totally fine. I had energy, but I guess it was just kind of draining. I hadn't, I haven't really been around a lot of people except my family for the past six weeks. So that was just really interesting to figure out my dynamic with all these different people and just also stay true to myself and continue the work that I've been doing on myself so that I think was a little bit draining for me energy wise um, but not necessarily in a bad way I don't mean it like oh I was so drained like no it wasn't like that it was just uh, I was just exhausted from yesterday it was just a lot and it was a lot of driving um, I'm not the most confident driver yet um, so, sh I mean, I totally felt fine. Like, where I was driving was totally comfortable, and, like, I know the roads really well there. Um, and I didn't have to go on any highways, really. Like, highways are very stressful for me. Because <laughs> it's just, like, people are going really fast and switching lanes, and it can be really intimidating and a little bit stressful. Um, so, it's not my favorite thing to do, to drive on highways. Um, anyway, so... So now I'm finally getting the time to myself. But it was funny because actually I dropped Andrew off at work and I washed our dishes and I came in and I started getting things together because I really um, want to make like a, for dinner I want to make a chana masala kind of thing using vegan richa, one of vegan richa's recipes. She has really, really amazing vegan 
Indian food recipes. I mean, she has other ones too, but her Indian food recipes come out so amazing. Like, they're really, 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 really good. So, um, I want to make something for, I want to make that for Andrew tonight with um, some brown basmati rice. So I'm gonna do brown basmati rice with like a chana masala, I guess, but it's gonna have um, vegetables in it as well. So like, I think I'm gonna put mushrooms and, mushroom and peas with the chickpeas. Um, so anyway, so that's the plan for supper tonight. And I also have a king oyster, a king oyster mushroom or, a king, a trumpet mushroom, something, something like that. It's like a king something mushroom, and it's like, a, I guess it's, a, it's a, the shape of the trumpet's mushroom. So I put that in Andrew's supper last night, and he didn't even notice. So what I want to do with it this time, I believe I saw on Wicked Vegan's Instagram. I think it's Wicked Vegan. I'll double check, and I can put the the link in the description below um, to his Instagram uh, handle. Um, but anyway, I saw he like shredded these mushrooms and then he did, he put barbecue sauce on them. So it was like a pulled pork or like pulled mushroom uh, barbecue sandwich. So I was curious about that and I kind of want to, I really want to make that for Andrew to see if it, it tastes good. I'm sure it does. I mean, if you like barbecue sauce and you like that kind of shredded um, texture, I think it'll be really good. But um, anyway, that was something I saw because uh, I was walking around uh, the store that Andrew works out, the farm store, and um, there's just so many new products, so it's hard to resist. You're just like, oh, that might be nice to try. Oh, that might be nice to try. And the thing is, I also want to try the barbecue sauce so that I can learn how to make my own. Obviously, I could look up recipes, but I want to see if this one's a really good one or if it's not, and then I can just kind of tweak things and make it my own and know exactly what's in it. Because, I mean, obviously, they have the ingredient list, but they don't list like the very minuscule things that are in it. Like, if it's less than, I think, 1% or something, they don't have to list it. I think that's what the rule is. Don't quote me on that, but it's just also nice to make something your own from home and just like know exactly what's in it. And like, you know, when I really believe that food tastes different when you make it with love. And obviously, you know, like people are like, oh yeah, whatever. But for me, it's like every everything that I've made, when I focus what I'm making and I'm really present with the process, it comes out much better than when I'm just like, oh yeah, meh, and just like talking and like not right in the in the mind frame of cooking or preparing the food with as much care and attention as I can. And so um, it doesn't come out as good. Like last night wasn't a very good meal because I wasn't really giving my undivided attention to making the meal. Um, I wasn't not making it with love, but I just wasn't really being present while I was making it. And it just, it wasn't, it wasn't as good as I could have made it um, but that's okay you live and you learn right um, so anyway I'm gonna break I'm breaking my fast now with some watermelon it's about 115 um, so at the last thing I ate I think was around 8 p.m. last night which was a little late I was just all over the place again like I said yesterday so everything was kind of off and I was also not present while I was eating my food, which I'm really working hard to to not do that anymore. I really want to be present with my food and just think about the food that I'm eating, be grateful of the food that I'm eating, be grateful that I have access to food, and just, just think about that. But yesterday was difficult for me to just be present with my food, and I was thinking about a whole bunch of other things, and um, yeah. So I'm really want working, I'm gonna work again. Like it's a continual thing. It's, you know, something I've never really done before. I've been very mindless with my eating for most of my life. So this is some, something new for me, excuse me. This is something new for me that I'm working on. And um, yeah, but was, what was pretty exciting this morning was when I woke up, I actually had to go to the bathroom. Like I had a bowel movement. Um, I had to go to the bathroom. I had a bowel movement. It was really nice, actually. So I think my digestion is starting to pick up again, which is awesome. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. So that, like this, this morning I woke up and I was coming down the stairs and I go to Andrew. 
I think I had to go to the bathroom. No, I definitely had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Which obviously, you know, a lot of people don't want to be hearing this, but it's really important, you know, that's part of your health, like releasing the food that you've consumed and eliminating things, that's really important. And I I know it's people don't like talking about it. It's like, ah, poop, gross, eh, you know? But it's so important. It's so important for your health, you know? There's so many, there's so many books about your gut health and how important it is to use the bathroom and eliminate. So anyway, I was really excited. It's really important to me. It's something that I keep track of because as a child, I had a lot of digestive issues and I was actually, um, there was like a week and I remember it was it was awful. I must have been like eight or something um, But I couldn't go to the bathroom and I remember it started happening during my grandfather's funeral My dad's father passed away and we had the funeral service and everything and I was having like so much pain and I couldn't go to the bathroom very easily and I was like straining and pushing and it was awful It was like it was not good and then after that day like the it was like I guess the the viewing of the body. Um, I remember it, it was just like a weird time, like, cause I was also young and I don't, it's unclear when you're young, like your your memories that you have. But anyway, I remember that that happened and then I couldn't go to the bathroom and we went to the doctor and they're like, oh, well we need a stool sample. And it's like, I can't go to the bathroom. How can I give you a stool sample? That's the whole point. I can't go to the bathroom. So I couldn't, I wasn't going and going and my dad was like, no, this is not okay. Like we need to do something. Cause they said not to, to take anything because they wanted to see what was going on and they wanted the stool sample. But my dad was like, she's not going to the bathroom. It's not okay. So I remember we did like everything. They like made me drink this, these things, you know, mostly natural things I think it was. I mean, maybe some unnatural things, I'm not sure, like a laxative or something. And I remember they, there was like these wax things that you put in your rectum and it was just like a lot. Um, so for me, it's always been like a struggle going to the bathroom. So when this morning I had to go to the bathroom, it was like totally easy and simple. It was wonderful and I was so excited about it. Um, anyway, again, this might be too, informa too much information for some people, but it's just something that I feel is important and I don't think we need to be ashamed of talking about our bowel movements, um, which I know there is a lot of shame and I think that's why a lot of people have a lot of um, issues going to the bathroom because many people are constipated and many people deal with digestive issues. So it's just like, why don't we talk about it? Because you know, maybe someone else is actually dealing with that issue and you guys can talk about it, see what works for you, see what works for them and like maybe exchange advice and things that are working for you. Anyway, so that was really great and I was really appreciative of my body and I was so grateful to my body that things are moving. So anyway, today is the ninth day. I'm actually, I really want to eat a salad today and I was reading in the um, protocol that when um, on the second week, you're, it says to eat fruit, continue to eat fruit, but you can incorporate a raw soup or a raw uh, or a salad, and so today I was thinking of maybe incorporating a salad. And I got, I mean, the thing is, I I want to keep it simple, but I also want to have some things that are a little bit different. So I was thinking of making a salad with um, some red bell pepper and tomato and romaine lettuce. So or um, with cilantro too, like cilantro, maybe some parsley, romaine lettuce, tomatoes, and and peppers. But we'll see because I don't want to add too many things together because I think. With my digestion, I want to just like keep it smooth and going, and I don't know necessarily. I'm gonna just think about this and um, meditate on it and see what feels right to me. Cause I really also, I don't want to add too many things. So I'm also thinking just doing like cilantro, tomato, and pepper. So we'll see, I'll keep you posted. But for now, I'm gonna eat my watermelon, okay? Okay, so currently I'm making dinner for Andrew and it smells amazing, <laughs> amazing, so good. I'm making uh, one of vegan Richa, I think that's how you say her name. Um, I could put the description below or I could put the link to her blog below in the description. Um, it smells amazing and I'm using her tofu butter sauce recipe 
but I'm actually not doing tofu. I'm doing chickpeas, mushroom, and peas. But that sauce is amazing. It's so amazing. It smells so good every single time that I make it. Um, yeah, so it smells really, really good. I am so excited. I'm so excited to to give it to Andrew later. I love, I really love cooking. Um, and I haven't been um, eating any of the food that I'm cooking. So that's been really interesting also. But it's been really fun. I've been really liking it. Also, I just rubbed my eye and I was cutting jalapenos so it feels a little funny right now because of the the spice from the jalapenos. I forgot to wash my hands after I cut them. Um, but it's okay. I will survive. This too shall pass. Okay, so Andrew's dish is actually done. Um, and now I started the rice. He won't be home for a few hours, but I figured the rice could just sit in the Instant Pot because it's a rice cooker also. Um, and it could just sit there and yeah, it'd be done. And I wanted to make the dish first because I know when I had made it the first time, after it sat in the sauce and kind of like all the flavors came together, I think a little bit better. Um, that's, at least that's what my dad said. So um, I just figured I'd let it sit. Um, flavors. Anyway, so I'm just going to wait for the rice to finish and then that's that's it. And then right now I think I'm just going to relax a little bit. I do like watching TV, but that's something that I ha that I want to work on to release that addiction. Um, but in, for now, I've done so many things today and I feel really proud of myself and that's one of the things um, I've been working on to not make myself feel guilty or to have guilt about just relaxing in general, whether it be watching TV or reading a book or, you know, whatever it may be. I've struggled with that, um, so that's one thing that I'm working on. You know, I'm actually feeling a little bit thirsty, so I, I think I'm going to have a coconut also um, while I just kind of hang out. So, anyway, I will check in with you later. Because I am, I think, I think I'm going to make a salad later today, uh, but that's going to be a, like a little bit later. Um, it will be around, I don't know, probably 5.30 or 6 or something like that, I think. I'm literally so grateful that we are able to have access to coconut here on the Northeast. Um, the fact that we can have these and enjoy them is like incredible. And I'm extremely grateful, and I love coconut water, and it's really great because I'm not—I haven't been eating the coconut meat just because um, with the fast, I'm not really. Um, it's not advisable to eat any fats um, according to the protocol. So I just drink the water, and it's great because Andrew eats the coconut meat. So it's a win-win for us. Nothing goes to waste here.